Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a great tutorial for you. This will be considered uh, module two of a software that I had come across called Video Proc Converter AI. You know, you have those videos and or movies, right, that are 480p, 720p, and you're watching them and you're like, man, I really wish these were high def or 2K or even 4K. Well, this software can convert those and upscale them and make them look completely different. And today, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we are going to use the Video Proc Converter AI. Um, hopefully you guys saw my last video. If you hadn't, I'll put a link right here so you can check that video out. It was also using the super resolution feature of this program, but it was for pictures and making them look fresh and new. Today's video is going to be about taking your movies. As I said, you know, some of the older movies back in the 80s were 480, uh, 720p, and they were great movies, but imagine how they would look if we upscaled them to high def or 2K or even 4K. So let's click on the super resolution and we'll open up the uh, interface here. And it is as simple, we're gonna put it over here in the corner. It's as simple as taking any of your video files, MKVs, MP4s, this thing can handle all different file types, but you simply take a video and we're gonna take The Last Starfighter pretty cool movie if you haven't seen it you should check it out again I think it was 1984 when this was released and we're gonna go ahead and click on that file we're gonna bring it over and stick it right into the tool okay so this video you can see up here the resolution is 1920 by 816 and it's gonna allow us to upscale it to 3840 by 1632 so the system automatically looks at this and says well do we want to do it two times three times or four times um, in this case, the system already had already identified that two times is the best resolution for this video. And if I come over here and I just bring it over, you can already start seeing, let's use this frame right here and we'll make it bigger. But you can see how the 816 looks a little blurry. And as I scroll this from one side to the next, it really, really cleans up nice. And as I explained to you in the last video, what this is basically doing is it's looking at the resolution and as it's as it's pulling it and making it bigger, it's not just trying to identify uh, or fill in some of the gaps. Um, the AI is actually looking and saying, okay, well, this this needs to be here. and this needs So it, it fills in artificially what it believes needs it to look like so that it can further expand. Once you have it like this, if you come over here to your right hand side, I don't touch any of this stuff. You really don't have to do anything. There's no way to make it or tweak it to make it even look better than what it's going to look like. What I will tell you is, is that when we click run, it'll then analyze how long it's going to take. So I'm going to go ahead and click run. When I do this, it's going to show you this particular movie took 22 hours. I'm not kidding, 22 hours. I started it, I walked away from my computer, and I let my GPU, my CPU work to upscale this video. Um, and then I'm going to show you and I'll pull up both movies and we'll see the difference of the two. So when you click run, this screen is going to come up and basically it's analyzing and determining exactly how long the video is. It's looking at its frame rate and then it's also calculating right here the remaining time to do the conversion. And you can see that it's taking it from an MKV file. In this instance, I have it set up to, to translate it and turn it into an MP4. You don't have to do that. You can set this up to leave it at MK4 if you want to. But again, I left it at default. The videos turn out fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop this piece, but then I'm gonna show you the end result. Okay, so here is uh, the original. You can set this as time stamped at 1609. So when we go to the AI version of it, we'll see the difference. Now I wish I could do it side by side, but take a look at the characters as this plays through. Now this doesn't do anything with the audio. This is strictly just the video. Looks okay. So let's stop it here, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on the updated version. I've already moved this over to my Plex server, and we'll flip this over, and we'll take it out to 16.5. Here it is. Here's the same video. So I'm gonna stop it here. Now, look at this. Her eyes are more clear. 
Her complexion is different. It's a completely different video. I tell you what, uh, if, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm going to leave a, a link to the software in the description below for you. Uh, but you really, really got to check this out. And if you've seen my other videos on how to burn DVDs or take your videos and digitize them to put them on your Plex server, um, and you got to check that video out, because if you're doing that, then you definitely have to do this one. I mean, completely night and day on how this turned out. Let me, let me get a little bit further. Here's a shot of him while he's actually in the ship. All right, let's go back and... And I'll, I'll show you a little more of the comparisons on the screen. So let's close this and let's bring it up. So here's 816 and here's 1632. So it doubled the size. Let's take another snapshot. Here you go. So this was pretty clear, but again, he's, he's a little blurry. And when you slide him over, it's perfectly clear. I'll tell you what, if you do this, again, it's... It's time sensitive, it takes a long time for you to get this done, but it truly makes your videos look completely different. And I've done this several different times. Depending on the resolution, it's taken 12 hours, 16 hours, and again, when I did this one, it took 22. Definitely worth you guys checking this out. The interface, it's called Video Proc uh, Converter AI, and it's all using their super resolution uh, functionality. Well guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely have to check it out. Again, I'll leave a, a link in the description so you can uh, take a look at this. It's not that expensive. Again, check out the videos that we did on Plex. Thanks again for watching. As always, stay safe, stay healthy.